the fountain day 235 in Christ alone. This morning, I've been reflecting on the journey of being a parent. Parenting is hard. It requires so much sacrifice. And much of that sacrifice comes in the shape of laying aside your desire to make things about you and realizing that your kids are going through things too. One of the greatest mistakes I see parents make every day is to view everything their kids do through the lens of, how does this affect me? Which is funny because we're always telling kids, it's not all about you. Ponder this thought for a moment. It's true, isn't it? Most people are naturally self selfish and self-centered. We all are naturally that way. It's the Christ in us that makes us more aware of others, more willing to sacrifice, more willing to serve. Without Christ, it's hard to have a proper perspective in any way. All of these thoughts led me to this one. Do you desire to have God know you more than you desire to know him? In other words, do you demand that he work your way over his? Do you feel angry when he doesn't meet all your needs the exact way you feel he should? Or do you accept that he knows best? Do you want to be revered or do you revere him? He is God. There is no other. And when we demand the above things and more, we make ourselves a God. Now that is a sobering thought, isn't it? There is no God beside him. He alone is on the throne. Oh, that all creation would desire to know, serve, and love him. Oh, that all the earth would revere him so much that they would accept his way in spite of their own desires. Oh, that all of us would simply seek his face. Jesus. It's all about him. I have come to the point in my journey through life where I no longer require explanation from God. I don't need to be told why the bad things have happened. I just need Jesus. My desire for his presence has finally eclipsed all my other desires and he stands alone. No matter what is happening, I simply turn toward his face. That's the only place I find peace, in Christ alone. We sing the song, in Christ alone my hope is found. But do you mean it? In Christ alone. That means no matter what and separate from all things, I find all I need and hope for in Christ alone. Can you honestly say this? Today is a great day to repent of desiring your way over Yahweh. Then ask him to come closer. Ask him to be with you. Just pray, Jesus. This is the only prayer we really need. Scripture says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, Philippians 2, verses 9 through 11.